Okay, so after waiting the full deck building time, we're we're starting round one here. Um, I don't know why it starts that countdown when really it's usually about 15 seconds. All right. Okay, and let's play quickly so we don't time out this time. Um, yeah, let's keep. I think we play Scour so we can play Pilgrim's Eye after and trigger it. And it's just more likely to get in as opposed to the non flying dork. Red. Okay. Okay, we want to stop drawing those now. Hopefully that doesn't get reality hemorrhaged. Sentinel, okay. That's got butt. Oh god, we hit another land, of course. I search up the wastes. Attack with scar. Pass back. Red green. Red green wastes. Okay. Aggressor, okay. That's aggressive. Alright. Alright, um I don't really wanna visions yet, I don't think. I mean, it would be nice to trigger, and then this guy can't block my ground guy, but... Nah. No, let's save that. We don't have a lot else going on. Save that for if he plays, like, the... The 2-5. Or something else that's, like, we're not getting through, you know? Or the spider with reach. Vestige, okay. And maybe that gets visionsed. He's very wasteful here. <laughs> His curve, unfortunately, is not. We are on the receiving end of the beats at the moment. Um, Alright, maybe this chain mage trades for something and we can gain two life Okay, um, that's not a card I would play in my limited deck, but that's just me. Okay, so, might have some kind of trick here. 
I mean, even if he has a trick, I'm gonna block. I mean, oh, he, he could have sure strike. That would get me. Yeah, he probably has that. So assuming he has that, is there anything I can do about it? Not really. So I'm going to try to do this. Maybe I should have blocked that in case it was the brute strength so they still trade, but no. That only you do is creature spells, bud. So you have a green trick. He has the green support too. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we'll gain two life. Alright. Fortunately, we drew another land. Now I am going to visions this thing. I'll probably end up regretting that, but All right. So now I have end of turn either gain two or deal two depending on what happens during the turn so now I know that he has the two mana green trick like I know it for a fact so I would block the aggressor just plays some fat thing. Oh, Jesus. That card is so busted. Yeah, come into play tap lands don't work as well with that, though. one of our many removal spells would be nice. I guess that's a free attack. Really? So we both go to 8, is that what happens here? Oh no, I go to 6, he goes to 8, okay. Th 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 that's, that's a nice one. Um, what do we drop? the aggressor or do we just drop this and kind of two for one ourselves um, Alright, 
it worked right. I was nervous about that for a moment. What happens if I attack with everybody? He has to trade off with that. And he takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and goes to one. And then he can't attack me back with that, or he just dies. I think. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, you you die. He probably should have taken more time to think about that. <laughs> Counting is fundamental. <laughs> All right. Wow. Nice. So a timely, timely rip and an, an opponent's goof, but I think we probably still had that. Um. I think we don't want Reaver Drone. rather have Afa Protector to block. And how am I going to get through all his big dump things? Seeing how his best threat he played had Vigilance, I'm not sure how good Sheer Drop is going to do. It would be kind of funny to have an Inspired Charge. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's do it. Let's just keep it simple. He didn't show me any removal spells, but he's playing red, so I imagine he has some. So I don't want to bring in the Untamed Hunger as of yet. Okay. Um, yeah, we can keep this. We just have to hit a couple lands for it to be good. And Gideon's Reproach, we don't need to cast right away for it to be good anyway. In fact, it's kind of better later on. We do have an Oblivion Strike to catch up. Blister Pod, eh? to see Blister Pod on opponent's red-green deck. Alright, well, we need to hit lands. We got one more shot at it. We've already triumphed over Blister Pod here. <laughs> if opponent wants to trade a combat trick for Skyscar, that seems fine for me. Alright, so he clearly has that, or he just wants the token to play a bigger thing. I 
either of those scenarios seem fine. Swell of growth. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I mean, you got us. That was a good tempo play. He still doesn't have any red mana. He's got three cards in hand, and we've got six pretty powerful ones lined up. got the shrieker that we can activate aha we found a mountain now we need to find a plains I'd settle for more swamps but plains would be nice there are eight of them in the deck so that's the card there's more of those than anything else so we were most likely to draw that um, here I'd like to play, so I could play two things, which is a nice tempo trick, or I can just play the sifter. Almost want to play that before combat. attack first. If he wants to block, he can block. Alright. We've got this Oblivion Strike for anything really huge, so... Getting this guy down seems good guy doesn't really have a drawback he's just kind of solid so it's got like a great ability and four mana four three and black is kind of okay anyway ah seagate wreckage that card has really warped the limited game it's it's like a common rare it's like i've seen one every draft i've watched i guess because it kind of just goes in every deck you gotta sack the scion first. This is like a birthing hulk. Which would be pretty sweet because we'd get to go oblivion strike, smash. Just stone nothing, okay. Alright, so let's attack here. That's a little surprising. Um, so I guess I'll just play creature, creature. Seems good. Pressure is on. Can he stabilize? What does he have in his hand that he didn't play anything with all that mana last turn? A double red spell. All lands? I mean, what could it be? Swamp is not a bad draw. So, I can play the wall and make a dude and activate the Kozilek guy and that's it's really aggressive but 
if I trade end up losing my creatures, I'll get a bunch of tokens anyway, so I'm kind of fine with that. So let's do that. Let's go for it, man. Why not? Came here to kick ass and take names. punk some bitches here. Wham. So. Fog for the lols? <laughs> or are you eating a fat one? What's going to happen here? The suspense is killing me. If I were more awake, I would be very excited right now. Okay. Wow, I guess he really values having that token. Taking eleven. Is this deck like all tricks or something? I mean, that seemed like a really terrible play. He had nothing better to do. Wait, what was that? Pulse of Marasa. Oh, okay. Alright, so he gained some life. Okay, yeah. Really not sure what you're going to do here. But, I don't think you're getting out of this. I mean, really not sure. Take six. Go to one again. All right. It's fine. I just, you know, I know I could have Oblivion Strike one of those, but I don't didn't really feel like that was necessary. I feel like I'm just like really high chance to win here. Thanks. Uh. Alright, well. We won round one pretty easily. Let's move on to round two, shall we?